Well, it's currently the Wednesday, the something of February, uh, only two days after Margot had been taken to Chris Leverett uh, for her dash to be taken out and for it to be shot blasted and resprayed, plus a couple of other little rattles that were getting on my wick. Anyway. Uh, we've had a bit of snow between now and then, and the forecasts were on the Wednesday. The Thursday and Friday is looking very, very, very bad. Lots of, lots of wind and oh, snow. Oh, it's just getting in my eyes. Ah! Well, I managed to get back, uh, but en route, as I was driving home, it started to snow, of course. Yeah! <laughs> And uh, also, as I was driving home, the bonnet popped up. Whoa! What had actually happened is the spring and locking mechanism for the bonnet had actually unscrewed itself from the top of the bonnet. So uh, it hadn't come unpopped, it had come unscrewed, I'm guessing through all of the times it's been undone and redone and undone and redone and undone and redone and undone. Uh, with that said, let's rejoin me this morning, now that she's back, and let's take a look at that interior. Here's the old dash with crude black paint slapped on, the old steering wheel fitted, and rust spots throughout. You want to see the result? I know you do. Okay. Ta-da! Look. All finished and all glorious. All this is new crackle finish. Taken off, resprayed. Lovely, no more rust. This is on solidly. This is all on, working gloriously. And with the finished motor liter steering wheel, it just sets off the whole thing. Oh, that's Iggy, by the way. But anyway, uh, we've got a couple of other things to look, look at. The steering wheel uh, needs to be readjusted so that it's straighter. So I'll be taking this off, moving it a few splines over and popping it on straighter. And bless his heart, he did try and fix some of the rattles as well, um, improving them a little bit, but there's still a rattle underneath this seat, which is extraordinarily irritating, I have to say. Um, proper, proper rattle, so eventually that seat's going to need to come out when we see what's under there. Um, and then underneath the bonnet, where the carbs are, something, when I let my foot off the accelerator, is vibrating. And we'll have a look at that in a second. There is a bit of metal which they've tried to support with a brace, but still, when you let your foot off the accelerator, it leaves a rather nasty uh, uh, rattle vibration. And it, it gets quite irritating. It's quite loud under here, so if I tug on the cable a little bit, you'll hear it and see it. So here's the bracket. As you can see down here, they've made a bit of metal that supports this here. And these are the carbs, obviously. Here's the block. And if I pull on this, I pull on this, you can start to hear a rattle come from right where that is. It's not there. Ow! Oh! Every time! It's not very nice, is it? So, I need to see if there's a way I can stop that. We'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe see if the bolts are tight enough, see if there's metal touching metal, um, and if not, maybe some heat resistant rubber or something like that that can be sandwiched between the points um, somewhere to stop that vibration from happening. Because it's ever so loud when you're, when you're driving, uh, not ideal. Um, but anyway, that'll be in the next episode. But for the meantime, interior done, new bulb in the dash done. Let's take on this mother.